you're a UK manufacturer and you know about multi-spindle machines, you've maybe used one or looked into them before, things have changed dramatically over recent years. I'm here at Tornos's headquarters in Moutier in Switzerland uh, and I'm here learning about this machine and the fact that even these days uh, you only need to be machining a, let's say 500 off to get the benefits of this type of technology. It's fair to say that you really have broken down some of the barriers here Brees with this machine. What, what was the plan, what was the intention with the multi-Swiss? Initially we had customers that were buying multi-spindle machine and customers that were buying Swiss type lathe. We had a few customers that were using both technology but uh, I mean to get into the multi-spindle world was quite a challenge for a, for a Swiss type user or for a standard lathe user. Uh, you produce more, but it means also more swath, more tool wears, another machining uh, strategy and so on and so on. And with the multi-Swiss we tried really to, uh, to boil it down to help the, the, the Swiss type user, the lathe, the standard lathe user to enter into this, uh, this technology. So basically take away those reasons that they were objecting and say, well, that's not an issue anymore. Um, one of which you mentioned the, the, the tool wear. Uh, I notice, or you tell me that you've got hydrostatic spindles on here as well, which can give you up to 30% better tool life. Is that right? That's totally correct, yeah. And that's helping a lot, actually, our customer to enter into this, uh, into this world. It minimizes the tool wear for, for a great deal. Uh, the principal idea behind this machine is you've got eight spindles here and every spindle you do a different operation uh, and every time, the, um, every time it rotates you'll essentially get one finished part, won't you? That's the idea. That's exactly the idea, yeah. yeah. Each station is doing one operation. And that operation can be turning, can be milling, can be drilling, whatever you choose. Is that correct too? That's correct, that's correct. And you can, on each position, you can mount up to four tools. So meaning it's not only one operation, but it's up to four operations per position. And the whole idea behind this was that, again, in days gone by, machines would take hours or even days to set. So you'd need to have the long production run in order yeah, yeah. to make it pay. But what we're saying with this multi-Swiss machine is you can set it within a matter of, of hours or, or minutes even. Yeah, it's, uh, it, depends, it all depends on the part, of course, but it's, it's indeed true. I mean, it's not longer to set that machine up than a standard lathe or a Swiss type lathe. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. We have customers that do only 500 parts on a machine like that. So, uh, and, and, the, and the next barrier would be the programming, because you'd be looking at that and going, well, it, it looks fantastic, but gee whiz, how on earth am I going to balance it all out and program it? But, but your software caters for all of that. It's dead simple, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. In fact, you don't have to balance any, anything. You just program the position one, what you want to do on position one, then the position two, position three, and so on and so on. And if you think about it, it's only each time a two-axis lathe, a two-axis lathe or a three-axis lathe, and you just input it into the system, and then the synchronization is done. And you put all your bars in the back. Quite a big machine, however, when you look at the fact you've got eight spindles, you could replace maybe three or four machines that would take up far, far more room. Ah, yeah, for sure. You win quite a lot of square meter with this machine, that's for sure. Uh, if you think about it, this, this would replace easily five machines, sometimes eight machines. And it's not that big, actually, if you consider all, that all the peripherals are integrated into it. So it's, uh, it's a good deal per square meter. And, and then you can access the machine very easily to get into it, to set it. A lot of attention has been paid to the design and the overall look. Um, for you, have you sold a lot more of these machines as a result of these changes, uh, Brees, in recent years? Oh yes, that was, a, that was indeed a huge success for us. Started with the 6x14 and the 6x16, then we increased it with the 8x26 that we have here and the 6x32. And it was really, uh, yeah, that was, yeah, last year it was basically our best seller. So you can have eight spindles or you can have six spindles. I'm thinking um, that, that the hydraulics industry, I'm thinking the automotive sector, all of these areas are where you can gain market share now with this type of machine. Exactly, the automotive is, uh, is of course a good market for, for the multi-spindle, but also the electronics, the medical, also we sold some machine in the, in the medical industry, and also the aerospace sector, which is a, a good market for this, uh, for this machine. And quite amazingly also in the watchmaking. Okay, yeah, fascinating. Yeah, so volume starting from around about 500. You wouldn't have believed that before. This type of multi-Swiss technology uh, really can turn your business around. Thank you very much for your time, uh, Brice. Thank you. Thank you, Paul.